Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick off-premise review. I'm gonna check out Pepper Lunch, which is close to me over here in Irvine. Pepper Lunch is huge over in Asia. It's only got a few locations here in the US, 350 stores across 15 different countries. This is definitely an established brand. You can see here that Grubhub comes up as the sponsored listing with $7 off first order, use Give7 if I was to order through Grubhub. <music> I like to see consistent consistent imagery, although you'll see this is top down and this is more from an angle. Interestingly also, look at the different price points here. I do wanna to switch to pick up because I am gonna go over as it's so close by to me to actually check out. And what I do note is that the prices don't change with pick up. So that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, so I look at this here, it says mix with corn, garlic butter, garlic sauce, white rice and seasonal, okay. And then I can choose add-ons. And again, each of these add-ons have different prices too, which maybe I won't do anything extra this time. What I also want to do is go over here to look at this pepperlunch.us website as well. So you can see here they've got locations in Texas, Nevada, and California. Okay, here's the classic beef pepper rice. You'll notice that the add-ons have different price points here. So that's interesting in comparison to what we just saw on Grubhub. So if I was to add that to the order, same item, and then go back to seeing what exactly we have in my basket here with Grubhub, recognizing that I have a, a coupon that's gonna come in shortly, $15.68 versus $12.80 here. And then with that $4 offer on Grubhub, $12.59 relative to the 13.79 that I would pay here. So let's make sure that goes through correctly. So actually on Grubhub with that offer, it's cheaper for me to order when going through a marketplace, which is unusual. But of course, that's the benefit of having these marketing initiatives on, on third parties. That said, there wasn't any kind of prompt on the first party interface for me to be able to order one of these items with some form of incentive. spend a moment or two just looking at the menu so this is on the channel now the first party channel so picture inconsistency all the pictures look pretty good here but the one thing I'd say is that they're all a little inconsistent in their approach some have dark backgrounds some are from the top down some only have the dish representing perhaps in half of the available space the other have things like napkins and pepper pots on the outside this one doesn't have pepper pots, this one does. This one shows steam on it, the rest of them do not. So it just gives different impressions. And then you'll see some are situated to the left, some are situated to the right. I think consistency in photography is really important here. Also, there's quite a lot of text. When you see the word entree, 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 and this one saying mixed, You've got to ask yourself, are those words really important to this? The customer is going to want to understand, okay, I recognize chicken, courage, sizzling curry is an entree. So actually, do you need to have extra words like entree here in the mix? They are going to be interested in what it includes with that particular item. So these words, I think, are important. And then again, back to picture consistency, you can see these are done by a different photographer. The DPI is even better on these. I'd almost argue that these are probably more recent photography. Um, they perhaps are trying to represent the difference in the premium stakes that are represented relative to some of these others. But I don't know, it just doesn't necessarily work for me when you've got all these different things. Here you've got an actual person holding the salad. And then when you see these fries in the little baskets here, What's the message you're trying to show? Are you trying to show that it's gonna be delivered in this little basket? Because that might be a cute thing to do for on-premise orders, but when I look at it here, it's not necessarily telling me that I'm actually getting a huge amount of volume for my order. And similarly, this looks really small. Is that what you're trying to represent? Whereas this looks like really a lot of rice. They're just questions that I'd ask. And also only a couple of drinks available. Maybe there's opportunities to have more drinks available for delivery. So just under 50 items on the, the chow now menu. And then similarly, when we go across to look at the menu over here, looks like a very similar kind of representation. 
Now, the imagery here, I'd say, actually looks a little better for those side accompaniments. But you'll notice on Grubhub, there are more drinks available. So straight away, I'm thinking it looks like I can get better marketing offers on Grubhub. I can get more drinks. And the photography is actually more consistent on this platform. So there are more reasons for me to potentially continue to purchase through Grubhub, which commercially probably isn't the best thing for Pepper Lunch. <music> So overall, Pepper Lunch was okay today. The food was pretty tasty, but I was a bit disappointed to see the theatre that was clearly created for an on-premise offering, not recreated in both the packaging and delivery of how I was receiving the off-premise offer. So I would really encourage the operators here to think about great photography on their first party platform, first party incentives to really draw the customer into why they should order direct. And then when it comes to the actual pickup and coming in, make sure there's an area to be able to collect an order and think about how you're gonna use that packaging and the bagging to really draw the customer to purchase again from you next time. So overall, Pepper Lunch gets a C.